Hi guys, welcome to Freshes World YouTube channel on jobs and careers. So today we are going to talk about simple tricks on time and work. So here is our first question. A does a work in 10 days and B does the same work in 15 days. In how many days they together will do the same work? So for this kind of question, there are a lot of tricks and some formulas also. But I'll just tell you one simple trick. 10 and 15. Just take LCM. 30. Okay. So overall units consider as 30 units now. Okay. 10 and 15 LCM you take that is 30. Okay. So A is 10. So 10 how many times? 3. So A will so A will do this 30 units in 3. 3 in units. It means like per day. Okay. So if it is B B is doing 15 days. So 15 how many times 30? It is 2. So 2. So one day this person is doing 3 units and this person is doing 2 units. So overall in a day, in one day both are doing 3 plus 2 which is 5 units. But for how many units you want? 30. So 30 by 5 which is 6. So answer is 6 days. So that is how you gonna solve it. So whenever you just see this kind of question, take LCM first, then take individual portions like this A and B. So you will get for one day, then you calculate the number of days. So coming to the second question, A and B can do a work in 12 days, B and C in 15 days, and C and A can do the same work in 20 days. If a, B and C work together, they will complete work in how many days? So whenever you see this kind of question, just take LCM out of these three numbers, 12, 15 and 20, which gives you 60. So total consider as 60 units. Okay. So they are saying A plus B can do in 12 days. So if you want per day unit, then what you will do? 60 by 12, which will give you 5 units. Okay, just do the same thing with B and C and C and A. B and C also can do within 15 days. So, 60 by 15, which is 4 units. Okay, now take C and A. C and A, which is C plus A, 20. So, then 60 by 20, which is 3. So now you got individual units, 3 units, 5 units and 4 units. Just add 2 into A plus B plus C is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 3. So A plus B plus C is equal to 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. 12 by 2 is equal to 6. So in one day they can do 6 units of work. Okay. But for how many units you want to measure now? 60 units. So 60 by 6 is 10. So answer is 10 days. So that is how you gonna solve it. So when you are in a competitive exam, you just see like 60 by 12. Okay, 5 units. 60 by 15. Okay, it is 4. Like that, you will directly come to 5 and 4 and 3. And then you will come to here. So that is how you are going to solve this. Let's go for the next question. So coming to the third question. This is little difficult. A can do a certain work in the same time in which B and C together can do. And they are saying if A and B together can do in 10 days and C alone can do in 50 days, then B alone can do it in how many days? So in this question, they have clearly given that A and B can do one work in 10 days. Okay, and C alone can do in 50 days. Okay, just leave this and come to the same point what I am saying from first two questions. Whenever you just see this kind of question 10 and 50, just take LCM. So obviously LCM is 50. So C alone it is can do the same work in 50 days. So obviously C can do C is equal to 50 by 50. So each 
day he can do only one unit of work in the question they have already given that a can do a certain work in the same time in which b and c together can do it so it means a is equal to b plus c and here you already know c is equal to 1 just leave it aside so here we have calculated c is equal to 50 means 50 by 50 we did where one unit we got and here if you see a and plus b is equal to 10 so if you want 50 to come it is 5 times so we already know that a plus b can do 5 units of work but here we already know here c is equal to 1 so in order to get a plus b is equal to 5 the num the difference between a and b are is only 1 so only possibility is 3 and 2 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so you got the answer here so here what you got to know is b is equal to 2 units now for how many units you want which is 50 here 50 by 2 is equal to 25 so 25 days is the answer here is the answer so whenever you just see the question just go for the lcm and come for the individual units and then solve it that's how you gonna solve this coming to the fourth question now a and b can do a job together in seven days a is 1 3 by 4 times as efficient as b the same job can be done by a alone is so this is very simple but you have to do it in little reverse way so coming to the point here a is 1 3 by 4 times as efficient as b so 1 3 by 4 how we can write 4 ones are 4 4 plus 3 is 7 7 by 4 so they are saying that a is equal to 7 by 4 into b okay just bring b here okay then it will become a by b is equal to 7 by 4 here you can clearly say that a portion units are 7 and b portion of units are 4 so together how many units they can do in a day a plus b is equal to 7 plus 4 which is 11 units then in a day if they can do 11 units for 7 days how many they can do 11 into 7 which is 77 units if overall units are 77 they are asking only a portion of it so a is 7 and out of 77 if you want only a portion 77 by 7 which is 11 11 days so option b is correct so that is how you gonna solve this if you like the video please do subscribe to our channel and thank you so much